Good morning, family, and welcome to Morning View. We are so happy to have you here. Today, we are going to be on the topic of your time. Good but you know, we, before we even begin, we have to begin with Thanksgiving. It says in the word, enter into his gates with Thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Let us begin to give the Lord thanks and praise. So Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this day that you have allowed us to see. You don't have to make it full. Father God, but we thank you, Father, that you have allowed us to see this day, O oh Lord. We thank you that you woke us up, O oh Lord, in our life, mind, safe and sound in our homes, O oh Lord. Families are safe, Father God, we thank you. We thank you that we are able to move around freely, O oh God. We thank you for good health, O oh Lord. We thank you for your hand of protection, Father. Praise and glory to your name, Father God. Bless your holy name, Father. Thank you. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you for everyone who's on their way. Thank you for everyone who listens to this recording, Lord. Bless them, my Father. Thank you, oh God. Father God, we just give you praise and glory, my Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for that which you are doing in our lives, Father. Oh, Father, we lift up our highest praise unto you, O oh Lord. Praise and glory to you, and we your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. It says in Psalm 21, 15, my times are in your hand. So we are reminded in Psalm 31, 15, that our time is in his hand. In this life, it may seem at times that nothing is happening for us. We see others who may be going in the opposite direction to us and appear to be further ahead than us. But we are reminded though, our time is in his hand. God has the final say. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 tells us, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. In verse 11, we are reminded that he has made everything beautiful in its time. Family, we understand that there is a season, a time for everything, and your time will come. Our time will come. Let us keep standing. Let us keep seeking. Let us keep trusting God. In order for us to understand more about our time, we have to ask ourselves, are we allowing God into our lives? In order for us to ascend, we have to allow the Father in. We have to trust him. We have to choose him and allow him to build and bring revelation to our lives according to his plans, pattern, and purpose for our lives. It says in his word, Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. It says, put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. It says, but I am trusting you, O Lord, saying, you are my God. My future is in your hand. Lord, we ask you to sharpen our discernment, sharpen our understanding. Help us, Father, as only you can, to seek after you. The way of the world may seem like the easier way to go. But let us continue to trust, continue to believe that it will happen in due time. Your time will come. Our time will come. God's will for our lives will come. We ascend family when we stay connected. The more we seek after him, the more we choose him, the more of his purpose that he will reveal to us. It's not easy, family. I know it's not easy, but it is worth it. God sent his son, his only son, into the world just for us. 
Let us choose him in the same way. Your time will come. You will ascend. Stay connected to the vine. The vine feeds us. The vine nourishes us. The vine protects us. The vine takes care of his creation. Your time will come. Some may have heard this story, but allow me to repeat it. An elephant and a dog became pregnant at the same time. Three months down the line, the dog gave birth to six puppies. Six months later, the dog was pregnant again. And nine months on, it gave birth to another dozen puppies. The pattern continued. On the 18th month, the dog approached the elephant questioning, are you sure that you are pregnant? We became pregnant on the same date. I have given birth three times to a dozen puppies and they are now grown to become big dogs, yet you are still pregnant. What's going on? The elephant replied, there is something I want you to understand. There it is clearly. What I am carrying is not a puppy, but an elephant. I only give birth to one in two years. When my baby hits the ground, the earth feels it. When my baby crosses the road, human beings stop and watch in admiration. What I carry draws attention. So what I'm carrying is mighty and great. So sometimes in life, family, we question, am I on the right track? You know, am I doing the right thing? When will my time come? Why can't I obtain the same thing that others around me have? We have to understand timing. Just like the elephant, there is greatness inside of us and it takes time to be birthed. But when it does, the earth will know. A definitive mark will be made upon the world. Don't lose hope. Your time will come. Our Amen. time will come. Amen. Father God, we repent for not putting you first, for trying to do things our own way. Father God, thank you. We receive your understanding that our time will come. Your purpose will be birthed. Father, come into our lives like never before. Father, we cannot do this life without you. Just like it takes time for seasons to change, we understand that it takes time and our time will come. Father, we thank you. Let us pray for you. Father God, we thank you. Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, precious God. Thank you, Thank you. 
Ya 
You do not progress, O oh God, the mad people who are stagnant. I trust in you, O oh Heavenly Father, that you are the God who is with us in the fire. Hey, Father, you are with us in the fire. That when the world throws us, O oh Lord, in the furnace, and it turn up the heat even seven times hotter, that you are the God who is with us in the fire. Do not give it, O oh Lord, a prayer from our prayer. Not the thread of hair of us, O Lord, is singed in the fire because you are there with us. He, Lord, they will see the fire and say, I thought I threw one person in there, but how come they are doing because the Son of Man is with us in the fire? And you know the Lord of everything that we go our way. Lord, I trust in you because you will stand with me. You are the part of God who stood with Daniel in the name of lions. So you are the same God who will stand with me today in the heart of those. You will stand with me. When the world rises up against us, you will stand with us. When the world rises up against the body of Christ, you will stand with us. Oh Lord, I trust in you. When my colleagues come up against me, Lord, you will stand with me. Oh, Father, when my friends or those I call my friends come up against me, Lord, you will stand with me. Oh, Lord, my God, when my family rises up against me, then Lord, you will stand with me. You will shake the Libra something. Take it in a person to proceed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for our leaders, Lord. That you do to me for the position of teachers, that which we ought to know or a corrupt or shimmer, or or shimmer, or 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 that that you increase in revelation in the name of Jesus, that you don't learn to depend on you in difficult times, oh Father, and the shield of faith will always be on us and arm of preventing and protecting them from the attack of the wicked one. But I thank you that they are walking in your promises. While we're here, we're praying for healing for those who are sick in our midst. We said, Oh Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you restored my health. You restored my health. Says, I will give you back your health and heal your bones, says the Lord. So, Father God, we thank you for healing us all. Enjoy divine health in the name of Jesus. We align the strength in scriptures today. Father, we are we are partakers of divine health in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, we were healed. Healing of Jesus Christ. 
receive it now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, that when our body feels sick, our spirits will not become victims of circumstances. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, good physician. In the name of Jesus, but I will thank you that you are with us. We commit our Lord ones into your hands, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We commit them into your hands, Father. Father, I wish that there will be beneficiaries of your blessing and protection in the name of Jesus, that there will be beneficiaries of your grace and your faith and your peace in the name of Jesus. Let us have testimonies. We have to testify. Today. Amen. I have a testimony. I would like to thank God for backing his words with signs, wonders, and miracles. You know, every time he gives us a, a theme or a sub theme for the month or the week or for a season, I've diligently watched and seen how the Lord has um, backed his words with signs, wonders, and miracles. Even when the season for the theme is over, it has already been activated. Some people experience it while the theme is actually in progress. But when the season is over, some people still experience because that, that word has been activated. Today, I'd like to thank God. There was a season when the Lord um, told us about Luke 15, that he's restoring everything that is lost and everyone that is lost. I want to thank God that he, he has actually been back in that word and restoring people back to himself for his glory. So I thank God and it's also a word of encouragement to all of us, myself included, that when that word comes, let's partake of it diligently. We may not see the results immediately, but we have activated something that will work for us later on. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Have a testimony. Yes, ma'am. So, um, Last weekend, my husband traveled to North Carolina, and on Sunday, um, he was returning to the airport, and he left the gas station. So for the first time, I heard that the hose can disconnect from the tank. I don't even know how to explain it. You know the the um where you, where the hose is right, where you take gas from. So the whole thing, he, he put his gas and then he went in to get something from the store. And then he came into the car and drove off. He did not remove the hose from the car. It was connected to the car. And then the hose disconnected from the station and he kept driving. And 
so he disconnected with a gallon I, I hear I don't know how that works so he kept driving with a horse connected and the gallon was behind him and there was gas petrol um dropping dripping from it while he was driving so he heard the sound but he thought maybe it was just his luggage you know at the trunk of the car moving left right and things like that so people kept honking so he can stop because I hear that that same experience caused a car to explode in in Los Angeles, a lady and her, her baby, they, their car exploded and they died because of the same thing. Because you know, when the, when the thing, when the gallon is dragging on the floor, the thing is metal, it can spark. And that spark is enough to cause an explosion. So he didn't know that that's what happened. And he was driving top speed because he was trying to catch his flight. So people kept trying to stop him, but he, he just thought maybe he was in the way also. And the moment they hung, he drove even faster because he was trying to get out of their way. So an old man almost ran into the road because he was trying to stop him. So that's how he stopped. And then the man said, he should look. He's driving away with the horse from the station and gas is, uh, petrol is dripping on the floor, on the road behind him. So he, he stopped and he, he didn't know what to do. He was just like, oh my God, that he almost died because this thing could cause an explosion. If he drove maybe by, um, let's say, cigarette that somebody has dropped on the floor or just by a mess park that could cause an explosion and the lord has said that this is a season of celebration where the devil is trying to twist it around and cause something else so that i would not celebrate but i thank god that he always backs his word and i thank god for this old man i don't know who he was for all we know it could be an angel because the man almost you know threw himself on the road just so that the car could stop because everybody's attempt to stop him wasn't working so I want to thank God for the life of my husband, the life of my family, and just to declare that when it's my when it is my season for a certain thing, be it celebration or whatever, I will not miss it. I will be there to enjoy it because it has always been so. When the word comes, I always benefit from it. And the devil is trying to steal my husband away from me. It will not work in the name of Jesus. So I'm here to testify and to declare that the devil failed once again. Amen. 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 Wow, that is amazing. Wow. Any more testimonies? Yeah, I'd like to thank God for the health of my daughters. They've actually missed school quite a few times, including yesterday, because of continuous coughing. I mean, it's the kind of cough that does not respond to medication. So we've been praying with them. I'm trusting the Lord that they'll be able to go to school today. I thank God for their health and I'm trusting that this will not happen again. Amen. 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 Family, let us just pray and lift up the testimonies that have been given. That's just amazing as far as to Sister Benner's husband, Armel, and praying for the outgiver family, their children, you know, them being sick. We just want to lift up everything, Mama Mildred's testimonies. Let's lift it up and pray, family. Oh, Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for preserving the life of your son. Thank you, Father, for restoring the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, as you continue to come. Thank you, Father, for sharing the blood of your blood. Thank you, Lord, for the mighty Lord, your Lord, has been the life of your children. Thank you for your beautiful daughters, Lord, as you go to the that which you are doing, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.
If there's nothing else, family, let us say our final greetings. It has been a wonderful time. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you on the line. It has been a wonderful time. The Lord moved mightily, especially upon me. So I'm thankful that I hope he moved mightily upon you. That we continue to trust and believe that our will will that his will will come. And so let us say our final greetings. Surely God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.